hello it's Sarah and this is where I ended up putting my create banner and I also have a dream banner below that so I just wanted to show you I I just think they fit there nicely and I was trying to decorate the, the back of this rack like it's my little shabby chic area I don't know it's just a pile of stuff but and that's the back of one of those black um, uh, racks that I have. So the create banner, it hangs a little low, but the dream banner, and I just made this, I guess I'll do a quick share, but um, it's, it's cute, but it's not, the letters didn't come out. I'm not using crackle anymore. I was just trying it because I haven't really used the crackle very often, but I do like how the, um, the clouds turned out. I have a cloud punch, like a Fisker's cloud punch, I think, and it, um, I just punched out a bunch of different clouds with different paper. Like this is a, actually a glitter paper. Um, and then this is more of like a foil paper. And then I had a blue glitter paper. Um, I colored them with the Tim Holtz. Uh, I don't know what, I guess it's shabby shutters or I don't know what color it is. Peel paint, I don't know. Peel paint's green. I put a doily behind on each one. I did the, the pennants all the same. It's, um, uh, once upon a time stack, it's kind of like a map, I think. It was a map, so I don't know. I thought it looked like you were looking at the earth from above or something. And then um, I just put all the dollar dollar lace around it and some rickrack. This rickrack's from, I think, Hobby Lobby, and I love it. It has like a kind of a shimmer to it, a white rickrack, and that's it, really. I put the doily. Oh, and then I put some, um, what are they, sequin stars. See if you can see them. But yeah, I I stick. I, this time I used a different crackle. I used the Tim Holtz crackle, and then I inked on top of it to try and like make the cracks stand out. And I don't know. I'm I'm done doing that. I'll show you my other letters. I'm gonna do a pen, uh, banner for Maya. So anyway, there's uh, create and dream. And I think the dream looks good with the clouds. Like it just looks. That's it. It's very simple. All right, so I'm going to move over to my desk because I have a pennant to share. I got Donna Dreams 3 or Donna Dreams. I don't know. Let's see. Donna Hutchinson. Hun Huntington. Anywho, she sent me her pennant. So let's see it. And she wrapped it up in this fabric that has like a little bit of a crocheted edge to it. And I saw her video, so... This isn't a surprise, surprise, but it's still awesome. And, um, yeah, she explains everything really, really well on her video. I'm going to go up a little, I think, for this um, and get it all in the shot. So, I think it's just chipboard. Oh, yeah, yeah. She said she painted it with this, like, textured paint. So, it's got, like, texture to it, and she added a hanger. Lots of la Oh, the flowers are coming off. All right, I'll glue them back on, Donna. No problemo. Um, and I think she makes these, too. These are paper. It looks like they're made with the... Um, I have that punch. All right, anywho. And then, so she has, she has um, pearls wrapped around, eyelash trim, bling, butterflies. And I think she makes these butterflies, too which are super blingy and sparkly. Look, she put a little trim in her hair. There's like more um, dangly pearls. And I have to remember to do this because I have these pearls in like every color. And I always forget to like just dangle them down. She's got little bling corners on the, um, on the image. And a bow tied here with some... Um, Japanese or Jap Chinese braid. Oh, a bead dangle at the bottom. Awesome. I don't remember that because the other two have stick pins on it. So this one has a bead dangle and then just this nice like almost like a netting. Oops, I will glue that on Donna. Don't worry. Like another piece of fabric at the bottom. So that's her pennant and this is a big one. This is um, at least 7 by 10. So that's awesome. And I'm hoping I just um, email response or PM'd um, Carmen, who is Tiger Mom. And she's sending me her pennant. So I sent her my address. So that'll be four. 
And, you know, I mean, I hope other people participate, but that was my first time doing it. I think, you know what, I might be joining a challenge myself. It's Cody's Crafty Corner. And I'm thinking, because I just finished, I just cleared up my desk of a bunch of stuff. Um, I might do an ATC and participate in her challenge, because I don't do ATCs very often. Um, and so, it's a challenge for me. So, I want to do that. Now, this is all the other stuff that was in um, the bag. I pulled the uh, pennant out so that I could show that right away. Oh, it looks like a card. Sunshine. Oh, it has a pen. It's like a... Oh, look at this. Cool. It's a little post-it uh, holder. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Thanks, Sarah, for the challenge. I'm very happy to meet you. I hope you like the banner. Hugs always, Donna. Yay. Awesome. Thank you, Donna. I can leave that out, maybe. Maybe I'll put it over to the side for now. And then there's a couple of butterflies. I told you, I think she makes these. So whatever she does to them, she punches them out. I don't know if they're stamps. Look, this is a double-decker one. I think I'll come back down now so we can see better. Um, but yeah, there's butterflies. There's a big one. Cool. Look at this. I've never altered one of these before. I know people do. Oh, I love that ladybug. I have a ladybug tattoo on my tattoo. See, there's my tattoo. Me and my mom had the same one. That's why I put uh, mom. After she passed, I just added the mom. But anywho, there's a ladybug. And I guess you open this and then you can clip it on stuff, right? I don't know. But people alter these. I know that. Thank you, Donna. What the heck is this? It looks like a little mini egg carton. Is this a puller? Oh, shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> I broke it. I thought it was going to open. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> I think it was supposed to be to pull it, but I just pulled a little too hard. Because, you know, I am rough. I don't do anything gently. That is one thing about me. It's a bunch of little beads and baubles and flowers and I should have put down my beading thing thank you Donna you guys are awesome I love that you you think that, oh I think I know what these are I just saw a video on these some people are melting pony beads or something and they're um making these little I forget what you call them but they're little embellishments I think that's what that is oh Oh, a charm. A, a necklace. What the heck? A little heart necklace is in there. That is amazing. Thank you, Donna. What the heck? Oh, my gosh. And then there's this bag. My, my battery is blinking. You guys, you send too much stuff, and then I can't even make the video. Ooh, there's a bunch of buttons, punched out buttons. Ooh, bling, 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 bling. I love it. I love this mesh bling. I love it. I absolutely love, love, love that. More butterflies. I think this is embellishments that she makes. Yep. Stamp butterflies. You can ink the edges of these. Purple bling. Some felt owls. And buttons. Wow. All right. Cool beans. Thank you, Donna. I'm going to have to hurry and rush. I'm just going to pull your... Oh, my gosh. Another bag of... Oh, no. Flowers. Look at this. Shabby chic flowers. I might be making some of these again. I want to try it again. I made a few, but I didn't... I don't know. I, I need to try it again. Oh, my God. Look at these little chickies. <gasps> okay. I'm going to run out of time. Donna... Thank you so much. And you guys, don't forget to enter my pennant challenge. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.